Please welcome Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro. Thank you. Two and a half centuries ago, in Philadelphia, a band of patriots declared their independence from a king and set ourselves on a path of self-determination. Generation after generation has embraced that responsibility. Ordinary Americans rising up, demanding more, seeking justice. And in every chapter of our American story, we've made progress and advanced the cause of freedom. Today, well, today we find ourselves writing that next chapter. Will we be a nation defined by chaos and extremism? Or will we choose a path of decency, honor, and continued progress? Kamala Harris, well, she has spent her entire career making progress. Donald Trump, a man with no guardrails, wants to take away our rights and our freedoms. And listen, while he cloaks himself in the blanket of freedom, what he's offering isn't freedom at all. Because hear me on this, it's not freedom to tell our children what books they're allowed to read. No, it's not. And it's not freedom to tell women what they can do with their bodies. And hear me on this, it sure as hell isn't freedom to say, you can go vote, but he gets to pick the winner. That's not freedom. But you know what? You know what, Democrats? We, we are the party of real freedom. That's right. The kind of real freedom that comes when that child has a great public school with an awesome teacher because we believe in her future. Real freedom, real freedom that comes when we invest in the police and in the community so that child can walk to and from school and get home safely to her mama. Real freedom, real freedom that comes when she can join a union, marry who she loves, start a family on her own terms, breathe clean air, drink pure water, worship how she wants and live a life of purpose where she is respected for who she is. Real freedom. Real freedom that comes when she can look at Madam President and know that this is a nation where anything and everything is possible. That is real freedom. And that is what we are fighting for. You know, Kamala and Tim's names may be on the ballot, but it's your rights, it's our rights, it's our future and freedoms that are on the line. And you have the power to shape the future of this country. Just like our ancestors, our ancestors who fought for freedom on the battlefield and sat in at lunch counters so our kids could stand up. Now, now it's on us. It's on us, my friends, to organize in our communities and on our For You pages around three basic American principles. We value our freedom. We cherish our democracy. And we love this country. And listen.
We love this country. And listen, despite our challenges, hear me on this, I want you to know I have never been more hopeful because I see in all of you the enduring promise of America. E pluribus unum out of many one. It's not merely a motto from the past, it's our direction for the future. You see, you all give me hope, and you all have the power. So let's use that power. Let's do the hard work necessary to win this election and write the next chapter in our American story. So are you ready to protect our rights? Are you ready to secure our freedoms? And are you ready to defend our democracy? And are you ready to elect Kamala Harris and Tim Walz? America, let's get to work!